The biopic on Gopal Swami Dorai Swami Naidu with actor R Madhavan in lead role will focus on the stellar contributions made by the genius inventor entrepreneur. GD Naidu Charities has entered into an agreement with the production house Media One Global Entertainment to make the biopic. The official poster of the movie has been released to coincide with the legend's 130th birth anniversary which was celebrated on 23rd March 2023. This wealth creator of Coimbatore from where the late Naidu hailed has made contributions across various sectors including automobile siddha medicine agriculture and education GD Naidu who has more than 80 inventions to his name is credited with India's many firsts indigenous motor a polytechnic college to name a few his spirit of innovation and entrepreneurship had a huge impact on the transformation of Coimbatore region into an industrial hub. The motor and pump industry of the region supplies over 40% of India's requirements. It should also be mentioned here that Coimbatore region contributes to 7% of Tamil Nadu's GDP. K. E. Raghunathan, the chairman of the Association of Indian Entrepreneurs, said that it won't be wrong to say that Coimbatore's growth story began with inventions, innovations, and entrepreneurship of G. D. Naidu. Today, Coimbatore is one of the largest entrepreneurial city in the country because every household has a self-employed entrepreneur in Coimbatore. be it in pump industry be it in foundry industry be it in uh, wet grinder industry be it in textiles you name it they are there there will be an enterprise with just 20000 rupees as an investment starting there will be an enterprise with 20000 crores as an investment and starting gd naidu laid the platform for them gd naidu was a role model for them GD Naidu through his perseverance and success attracted the young talent to follow his footpath as an entrepreneur too Naidu left an indelible mark as he chose people ahead of profit he took a loan from Sir Robert Staines in 1921 to buy a bus and he went on to build a fleet of 280 buses run later by his United Motor Services At a time when bullock carts were the predominant mode of transportation, he popularized the public transport system. A visionary who understood the needs of public, he united all the bus companies under one association. This ensured a hassle-free travel for the public as the association issued one common ticket which would be valid from Chennai to Kanyakumari. He drove the first bus for the first 1 year and trained drivers of the buses he had later added on. When he found that there were no facilities to park the buses he set up the bus station in Palladam it was the first of its kind bus junction in India K Raghunathan said that GD Naidu became an entrepreneur to serve the society his eyes started seeing what the people wants and his brain started working how to make that need become reality he started inventing product after product application after application close to nearly 88 patents or new designs and applications and products is what in his entire life he devoted his life for he started entrepreneurship because he wanted to solve social problems and social empowerment he wanted to serve the the people around him with an application or a product or a service which will make their life become better raghunathan also said that gd naidu's contribution to the society makes him remembered even after 50 years of his death a self taught genius naidu learned english with the help of mrs stains he also ensured others did not suffer the pains he went through After losing out all his money in cotton cultivation initially he documented his new practices of getting higher yield his experiments with banana corn cotton red gram and papaya plantations were widely appreciated nobel laureate sir c v raman was amazed by the innovative crops naidu grew in his farm 
After visiting his Patanur farm, Sir C. V. Raman wrote that G. D. Naidu is a man in a million. Naidu never hesitated from hard work. He served as a waiter in a hotel in Coimbatore. Later on, it was a bakery in which Naidu worked in Germany helped him invent the world's first razor blade. After finding it difficult to cut loaves of bread using a knife, he experimented with a vibrating blade which would cut hair. He patented the world's first razor blade which was sold in US and Europe markets. Even though there were many offers to buy out the whole design, he refused because he wanted to make it in India. But the British colonial rulers did not provide him the required permission. He put his invention in cold storage as he was appalled that it was not going to benefit his poor countrymen. His innovative spirit and Naidu's open-heartedness in wanting to use his innovations for the benefit of the masses earned him many friends and well-wishers. From Sir C. V. Raman to M. Visveswaraya to M. K. Gandhi to Periyar E. V. Ramaswamy, a wide range of leaders were his good friends. Raghunathan says there were aspects of Naidu's personality that made him stand apart. The inventions, the dedication, the passion, the application, the simplicity and not chasing money as his necessity is what made this man stay apart. This is what made him also attract various people of high stature come to him. Gandhiji came to him. Global leaders came to him to see him in Coimbatore, to talk to him of what his inventions are. And he created a network of friendships. During World War II, there was a huge demand for mortars and mechanics. This pushed Naidu to learn the nuances of mortar making. He joined the Ford Motor Company in the US as the oldest student and came back with insights on automobile technology. This led him to invent India's first electric motor. As there were no trained people available to maintain motors and automobile vehicles, he ventured into education too. G. D. Naidu launched India's first polytechnic in 1941 to prepare skilled automobile mechanics. He designed the syllabus himself with 70% practical education and 30% theoretical education. Today's skill-based courses, including professional engineering courses, follow this model. G. D. Naidu also donated 67,000 rupees worth of books to the polytechnic he founded. India's first radio and a factory to make radio sets, India's first ball pen, ball pen refill, low-cost clock, these were some of his innovations. Naidu did not just make lathe drilling machines, but also set up the Small Scale Industries Association to empower entrepreneurs. He focused so much on boosting skills that he trained people with third to fourth standard education in lathe works, giving them employment and a steady income. Almost all of his inventions were for the benefit of the public. He created a low-cost house model costing 1,000 rupees back then. In the presence of the then Vice President of India, V. V. Giri, G. D. Naidu began the construction of one such house by 9.30 am and completed it by 8.30 pm. If it had been just inventions and entrepreneurship, people would have forgotten G. D. Naidu. Instead, he was a great philanthropist too. He had a motto in life that any individual should learn for 25 years, earn for 25 years and spend their remaining for public good. With such a passion, he got involved in treating people with health issues too. Naidu established allopathy and Siddha treatment centers. Apart from various parts of India, people came from abroad too to get treated for diabetes and other kinds of ailments. G.D. Naidu was a learner who kept on learning new things for the benefit of the public till his death in 1974, aged 80. The documentary film G.D. Naidu, The Edison of India, directed by K. Ranjit Kumar, won an award for Best Science and Technology Film at the 66th National Film Award in 2019. It was produced by Films Division. Raghunathan said that the life and times of G.D. Naidu was filled with challenges and this is what makes his achievements special. Think of the smallest town like Koyambutu several days back when he was alive. There was nothing. He had no money. He had no godfather to handhold him. All were his self-idea, self-passion, determination. Imagine how he would have developed a prototype 
he had to walk several miles across to find a small late shop to sit there and get a component what he wanted and then waste the component or scrap the component and redesign the component to make it perfected Raghunathan also said that GD Naidu is a reference point for entrepreneurs who have to undergo extremely tough circumstances. It's no surprise that a full-fledged feature film on this legend is kindling a lot of interest in this forgotten genius. Sandil Kumar for the Federal. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.